before this video of narration starts, could somebody explain this? Somebody please explain this. Why is Moto Moto sending me a friend request? Uh, 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 why do I have one mutual friend? <laughs> okay, um, chapter two. Applejack is pregnant. Spike slowly opened his eyes to a bright ray of light that shined through the window. He shifted his field of vision beside him and saw the mayor of his life. He couldn't help but let out a smile. Spike carefully got out of bed and walked to the open window. <sighs> Man, another great night, he said after a yawn. Spike walked to the bathroom to take a quick shower. After the shower, he dried himself off and he climbed down the stairs and made way for the kitchen to make Applejack and her family breakfast. He entered the kitchen and pulled out the usual supplies to make the apples food for breakfast. Spike was losing awareness of the house around him and didn't notice the young filly walk in. Apple Bloom saw Spike working steadily on cooking. She walked up next to Spike and set her hoofs up on the counter. Morning, Spike! Spike snapped out of his concentration while he was cutting up apples in top speed with his dragon claws. Morning, Apple Bloom! Need help with anything? Nah. I just wanted to watch you cook, Apple Bloom said as she switched her eye contact to the countertop where Spike was cutting up apples. Spike returned to cutting up the apples. Well, alright, just don't surprise me like that again, <laughs> he said while he juggled. After a while, Spike was finishing preparing the breakfast and Apple Bloom spoke again. So, how are things with my sister? Apple Bloom said with a light tone on her voice. Spike didn't stop making breakfast, but answered, Things are great. I really love your sister a lot. Really? So, there's no problems with you two? Apple Bloom said. Nope, I really love Applejack. And do you want to hear a secret? You have to promise not to tell her, Spike said, now stopping making breakfast. Apple Bloom nodded. Spike leaned down close to Apple Bloom and whispered on her ears. I want to give her a birthday gift because today is your sister's birthday. He smiled and regained his composure to continue cooking. Remember, don't tell Applejack. <laughs> Spike and Apple Bloom could hear hoofsteps that were getting close, and Applejack walked in the kitchen. Morning, Apple Bloom. She trotted up to Spike, and they shared a quick kiss. Apple Bloom saw her sister in the dragon kiss, and she felt dizzy. Ew, yeah. She put her tongue out. After breakfast. Apple Bloom walked outside before Applejack walked outside with Apple Bloom, who was already outside. Spike called Applejack before she reached the door. Um, hey Applejack, uh, do you need anything? Spike questioned. Uh, y y yes. Can you go to the pharmacy and pick up some headache medicine? All this about the pregnancy is giving me a migraine. And my stomach is getting heavy. Apple Blooms, I mean, <laughs> shit. Applejack said to her boyfriend. Okay, see you in a few minutes. <laughs> the purple dragon boy said as he walked out of the store and headed left. Wait, out of the store? Applejack smiled and walked to Apple Bloom, who was waiting for her outside. Um, sister. Why your stomach seems so big now? Asked Apple Bloom, 
looking at Applejack's stomach, which got a little big. Well, Spike got me pregnant, Applejack said, putting her hoof on her stomach. Oh my god, we're gonna have hybrid freaks in our family, Applebloom said. Applejack rolled her eyes. So, when are you gonna give birth, sister? Applebloom asked. On six months from today, Spike will be with me when I'm giving birth, so I can grip something tight when the pain comes, when I'm, when I'm in labor, said Applejack as she and Applebloom headed to the barn. Um, when did you find out that you got pregnant? asked Applebloom. Yesterday morning, Spike took me to the doctors and we found out that day, Applejack said. During the barn job, Applebloom kept looking at Applejack to see if she was okay. Applejack was having a hard time doing her job as she felt her stomach more heavy than ever. Three hours later, Applejack finally finished her apple job and she was the last one to finish it and to leave the barn. Applebloom was waiting for Applejack to come out of the barn. Was the job too hard for you? Applejack said as she came out of the barn and saw Apple Bloom waiting for her. Nope, it was easy for me, <laughs> said Apple Bloom as she headed to the sugar cube corner with Applejack. You finished an hour and ten minutes late. You're getting old, <laughs> <laughs> she said as she got in line for lunch. Applejack rolled her eyes, ignoring Apple Bloom's comments. Hello, Applejack. Apple Bloom. Mm, what can I do for you two? Asked Pinkie Pie. Look, I know my Pinkie Pie isn't there. Uh, I want to have a uh, ramen noodles with barbecue sauce and uh, uh, pineapples dripped in chocolate and uh, three cupcakes. Yeah, three cupcakes said Applejack, telling her order to Pinkie Pie and taking their food. Spike, who was already done with his task and heading on his way home, spotted the jewelry store and, for an unknown reason, he found himself walking in and heading for the necklaces. While he was looking around, he found a familiar voice was heard who was heading his way. Hey, it's been a while, Spike. The voice belonged to Soren, a Pegasus stallion and ex-member of the Wonderbolts. Yes, it has. What, what are you doing here? Spike responded before looking back to the necklaces. Giving Twilight a pre-proposal gift. And since this is where the others brought their lady stuff, I might as well try it, Soren said with a slight smirk. Yeah, me? I'm here for an early Applejack birthday gift, the purple dragon said to the former Wonderbolt's ex-member. Hmm, I'd personally get the necklace that has that little small red apple gem on it, the blue stallion Pegasus said and waited for Spike's reaction before smiling. <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna be a father! Spike whispered so only the adults could hear. The stallion Pegasus smiled for a few moments and answered. So, <laughs> you got Applejack pregnant? Congratulations, buddy! D well, thanks, I think, <laughs> Spike said. Hey, hey, um, why don't you and Rarity ever go out and why is she with fancy pants? Oh, <laughs> the stallion Pegasus Soren asked. He knew that Spike liked Rarity more than any other, but he also knew that the purple dragon liked Applejack in that way too. With a heavy sigh, the purple teen dragon answered him. Mm, I suppose the reason for both is that Rarity knows my crush on her, but she also told me that she was not interested in me. 
Even after all the things that I've done for her. Well, well, I was young back then, but when I turned preteen, I was still heartbroken. Soren stared at him for a few moments and said, Whoa, was that all? No, no, there's more. But I don't want to talk about it, Spike said. Well, okay, buddy, Soren said. Spike nodded as he paid for his gifts and they headed home. Applejack, I'm back! Applejack, Spike said after entering his farmhouse. His... His? He walked into the kitchen and placed the medicine by the sink. He did not see any pony around. Spike walked to the room and hid the gift under his pillow. It was now nighttime. Spike was in his bed reading a book when the door to the bathroom was opened. Came in was his lovely wife, Applejack who is nine months pregnant and is ready to pop any day now. Whew, man am I tired, <laughs> Applejack said as her green eyes stared at her purple dragon lover. Spike put down the book a little bit to stare at his lovely farm mare wife with love in his green eyes. You should get in bed and lie down, he said never taking his eyes off of Applejack. Whoa, whoa, sound like something about to happen. Applejack smiled and was about to lie on the bed when she felt something break and a pain in her stomach. Ow, oh, ow, oh, Spike, oh! <laughs> She shouted. Spike put the book on the bed and got out of the bed as he raced towards her. Well, what is it, Applejack? Uh, are you all right? He asked. Applejack groaned. I think, I think my water just broke. The baby is coming, she said as she leaned down, holding her stomach. What now? Spike shouted as he stood up with his eyes widened as he stared at his wife. Yes, now, Applejack gasped. The baby! The baby wants to come out now! She said as she groaned. All right, uh, all right, uh, don't panic. Everything is going to be all right, said a panicked Spike as he pulled a chair closer to where Applejack was and sat her down before going to the closet. Just then, they heard thunder and waterfall outside. Spike groaned. Oh, great. It's raining, and on the day when my child is going to be born, he muttered as he looked at the window before continuing rummaging through the closet. What on a- what in Equestria are y'all doing over there, Spike? Applejack yelled. Spike came back holding a raincoat, towel, and an umbrella. Applebloom and Big Mac came out of their own room and seen Spike putting the raincoat and the towel around Applejack and holding the umbrella on his tail. Up, oh, Spike, what's going on? Applebloom asked. Your sister is going to give birth! Spike responded. She's about to give birth! Applebloom shouted. Spike and Applejack nodded their heads. Spike went over to Applejack and put his arms around her. Applejack, on her stubbornness, n n n No, I, I can walk on my own! <laughs> she said in pain. Spike looked at her. Hey, you can barely move, AJ! Don't worry! He lifted her up with his dragon strength and carried her with his arms. He quickly made his way to the door. Spike quickly made his way out to the hospital. He got there within half of hours of- Wait, what? He got there within half of- uh, Half an hour of running? Dear God! Paying no attention to anything around him? He was focused on getting his wife to the hospital that was not too far from the farm place. Spike walked to the hospital, holding Applejack on his arm. Please help! She's about to have a baby! Spike practically yelled at the receptionist. Ugh. All right, calm down, sir. <laughs> All right, 
Calm down, sir. We'll have her ready in no time, said the female receptionist as another female receptionist came and sent three nurses to take Applejack away. Are you the father? The second female receptionist asked. Spike nodded. Yes, I'm the father. Okay, then I guess you can fill out these papers. Follow me, please, said the female receptionist and walked with him up the stairs to a floor where there were many stallions in the waiting area. The end. Bro, there's no more chapters to this. It, it sounds like it's, it says, uh, look, it says, it said, uh, oh, no, that's it. No, that's it. No, it's incomplete. There's only two chapters. No! I want to know what happens. Like, well, well, why, why was Big Mac in the thumbnail then? I, I, well, I guess we did mention Big Mac, but he didn't even say anything. Ooh. I want to know what happens, bro. All right, well, hey, spear that like button. <laughs> spear that like button. Spear that like button. <laughs>